Hey, what's up, y'all? The Professor Malik here again uh, with some news out of the Stanford, Connecticut Post. It seems Vince McMahon's uh, rich billionaire former CEO wife, Linda McMahon, must be really, really bored because she's embarking again on a new venture. And I thought those two runs for government office that didn't pan out that didn't pan out so well would teach her a lesson: just be rich and stay home. Of course, this says it doesn't involve politics. She has formed the WLL, the Women's Leadership Live Company, geared toward promoting leadership opportunities for women. And just to give you a heads up, Linda, I don't think we need you in any more political adventures. We didn't want you in government office, so why would why would we... We need a company uh, from you that supports uh, leadership uh, for women. I think women's leadership is is supported very well. Hell, Hillary Clinton has made her bid for president, and and I'm actually endorsing Hillary Clinton for president. That's just my uh, uh, opinion. The Texas-based company will sponsor and organize events featuring prominent female keynote speakers, panel discussions, and workshops in an effort to encourage women to pursue advancement in their careers with a goal to build a world where women obtaining and and exercising power is both expected and commonplace. Newsflash. Women exercising exercising power is already in place and has been in place uh, for decades. And women of, and real women and real women of history have shown that because they paved the way for the women of today to be respected leaders in politics, government, and wherever. And if you and for those football fans, if you watched, there was there's actually there's actually a female who, who at one time I think or one time uh, I heard my father uh, speak of it. There's a female who may be the first female head coach, first ever in the NFL. So Linda, I don't know what this is really all about. I mean, you're rich, you have you have billions. Why can't you just be a good grandma and and, and or, or godmother and take care of Stephanie and Kate and take care of your daughters? Three bratty kids, because I'm sure with Stephanie and Triple H, you know, running around marketing tours, doing whatever, you know, I'm pretty sure those kids are not too supervised. But of course, that's that's of course that's the life of rich children. It's impossible not to recognize that even in 2016, women are clearly underrepresented in leadership. McMahon said in an email Wednesday to Hearst Connecticut Media. Women are 51% of the population, but only 20% of Congress. Women earn the majority of college degrees, but on average only make 78 cents on the dollar. Women make 80% of household spending decisions, but only 5% of Fortune 500 companies are led by women. Only 17% of corporate board members are women. This is not about setting quotas, but about having a diversity of of perspectives and experiences in decision-making roles. We are making progress, but there are still glass ceilings that need to be uh, cracked. Linda, we all know what this is really about. This is about the McMahons getting another political notch under their belt to maybe try to sneak in the back door to a political, possibly, government job. And also it's, and also it's to help a, a Vince market and sell that PG WWE, that, that PG WWE, family-friendly uh, uh, programming. It's not going to work. I don't believe these figures, personally myself, I believe women have more power than we think. At least I believe so. You know, I believe in e- equal opportunity, equal rights. Like I said, some of our greatest teachers have been, have been women. And one day, personally, I believe we should have a female president. I think a female president in the White House would be a fresh perspective and a female might have more compassion and not so easily corrupted as all as all of the male counterparts have been o- over the years. I believe a female president would be a breath of fresh air in the White House in, in the future, but only time will tell. So, but anyway, to, to another quote, similar to a man's Women Can Have It All series, Sacred Heart University in Fairfield, where she is a trustee and gave $5 million toward a building with her name on it. The new company will focus on mentoring women seeking executive roles. It will offer guidance on writing business plan, 
gaining access to capital and networking, McMahon co-founded WW co-founded WLL with a Texas-based social media strategist Debbie Debbie Saviano and former model Stacy Sheffelin, a former Fairfield County resident and founder president of the cosmetics company YBF, your best friend beauty. Oh please. I see the flaws in that already. And also, she also quotes here, there are many organizations that support women to biz in business, but will set WW but what will set WLL apart is the community and the follow-up that will emerge after our live events, McMahon said. There you go. See, you're associating the damn company with WWE. Live events. So that's not good. If you want to make if, if you if you want to make an impact on promoting a, a, a power for women and leadership for women, go to some real women foundations, organizations, and basically just donate on some of those billions. That'll do just fine. You don't need to start a company, uh, of course, and we don't need to see your face plastered, plastered everywhere. Everyone knows you're Vince McMahon's wife, and we all know uh, what this is about. So it's basically not going to work, and I'm pretty sure any educated woman out there isn't buying this. This reminds me of, of all this reminds me of is the flip side coin of the Susan J. Kamen cancer, breast cancer that, that WWE uh, does every February, where they promote the where, where WWE uh, sells all their cancer t shirt merchandise uh, and, of course, using John Cena uh, to sell it. See, to me, this isn't good. So, you know, Linda McMahon, we wish you the best, but like I said, you're rich, uh, you're, you're, you're a bit. You're the wife of a rich billionaire. I would just stay home and, and just have fun. And like I said, help be a nanny uh, to the three kids. I think that'd be best for you because, you know, government and politics isn't a place for you. There's too much problems in politics and government right now anyway for, if, that anybody would trust your motives. But once again, that's just my opinion. There are many organizations that support women in business, but we'll... Okay. Moving on... It's, uh, sorry, folks. Ma Linda McMahon, who is 67, partnered with her husband Vince in to turn WWE into a global entertainment giant. In 2009, she stepped down as the CEO of the company. Of course, to me, that, that was a bad move. I think she said she said she should have stayed a CEO, and she can always go back because, it, it, of course, it is the family business. The, the Greenwich resident captured the GOP nomination but lost the general election to Democrat Richard Blumenthal, who has who was state attorney general at the time. McMahon reprised her candidacy in 2012, failing to the congressman Chris Murphy after a combined investment of $100 million in the two races. $100 million down the drain. Boy, that was bad for business. Cons consecutive unsuccessful Senate bids haven't suppressed McMahon's charity work or political contributions to conservative causes. Through the Vince and Linda McMahon Foundation, the Power People gave 500000 to open a substance abuse recovery center for women and their children in Norwalk. McMahon remains a key rain rainmaker for Republicans, giving more than $3 million to GOP candidates and super PAC since 2012. Do you see the cracks in this? Okay, three million right there, and five hundred thousand to open a substance abuse recovery. How many substance and abuse? How many substance and abuse recovery institutions do we have here in America? We have thousands, probably hundreds, maybe even millions. But, but it doesn't seem to help because people, even who come out of there, either relapse or you know, just can't get it, just can't get it together. See, so so basically, it's it's basically a recycling. And her last quote here, I have, I have long had a passion for exposing young women in leadership opportunities, the man said. The woman can have it all. Series at Scarred Heart University has been a great way for college students to hear how prominent executives forged their careers, overcame the challenges they faced, and found balance in their personal and professional lives. No one has all the answers, but I find all people, especially women, learn from the experiences of others. The company's inaugural event will be a three-day conference May 19th and the 20, 21st in Irving, Texas, with a cost of about 1,200 additional information about WLL is posted on the company's website. 
womensleadershiplive.com. The message is that anything is possible, but no one achieves anything without a little help along the way. Linda said, we can all be the catalyst for the change in our lives, careers, and communities. Now, a cost of $1,200. i am guessing that's the cost of attending this thing, and probably it could be a tuition fee, too, for, for the college. Now, you see the irony in that? You can come attend, you can come be a part of it, but only if you have $1,200. Linda, the average woman, the average hardwork woman doesn't have 12 cents or, or $12 or more to go to college, let alone pay to get in this. Now, if you're really supporting women's leadership, this, this, uh, this event should be cost-free. You're a woman, you're free to attend, it's mandatory. Again, that's bullshit. So once again, it's like, you know, they say you have, it takes money uh, to make money, meaning you have to pay uh, uh, to make money. That's also BS. The price is hard work and dedication and the opportunity that you worked for and, and earned. I mean, knowledge, education should be free. This is what a famous philosopher I know uh, said about these college in- institutions. They wanted, yeah, the education is good for you. But why does it cost so much damn money? See, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna do more research in, into into Linda McMahon's uh, company, and, and uh, sometime maybe I'll do a follow up video. But if if you want to support if you if, if you really want to support women's leadership, uh, uh, Linda, don't treat other women or, or or the process like you know. Okay, I give this knowledge, I'll teach you. But give me twelve hundred bucks uh, to attend. That's, that's BS. No, it, it should be just a walk-in. I don't know. All right, folks, uh, leave your thoughts and comments. Uh, like, share, subscribe. Peace.